In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take values in Node-RED and send them via MQTT. So in a previous video, we set up an OPC UA listener, which is connected to our Movicon Connect OPC UA server. And what we're going to do now is we're going to push that data via MQTT. So to begin with, I'm going to get rid of these two payloads. And I'm actually going to put a join function in to collect both these items. So I'm going to put both of them into my join function. Let's go and look at my settings. And I want to set it as manual. And I want to say create a key value object with a topic of message after two message parts. So what's going to happen is the timestamp is going to read, is going to inject into the listener. The listener is then going to read the two nodes, push them into the function. When both are in the function, it's going to send them into the join command and then output it. So I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to put a debug now just so we can test this. Again, connecting the nodes and I'm going to deploy. And we can now see we're getting the details from both of the tags. So that's proven it's working. So I'm going to delete this debug node. I'm going to come down and I'm going to grab MQTT out. I'm going to connect my join to the MQTT. Double click into it. I'm going to add a new server, which is our internal server. Check the port, that's correct. Using version three of MQTT. I've not applied any security, but if I did, this is where I'd put it, my username and password. I'm going to update. Now I need to add a topic. So this could be uh, OPC UA. Quality of service, I'll put a zero and retain as false. Hit done. And I'm going to deploy this now. You can see that's connected. This is active. And we can see the listeners now pushing data out and our server's connected. So I'm going to use MQTT Explorer and I'm going to disconnect and create a new connection for our package device. I'm going to save and connect. And I can see I'm getting data straight from OPC UA and it's reading through every second. Now this could easily be passed out to an external server as well, somewhere in the cloud or a paid service. And that's how you connect Node-RED to MQTT. Thanks for watching.